heartbroken widower's beloved pet terrier which is last linked to his late wife and son is viciously mauled by three powerful Siberian huskies. A Yorkshire terrier allegedly mauled by three powerful Siberian husky dogs is the last link to his owner's beloved late wife and son. Heartbroken Dennis Smith has been hit with 2,000 pounds in vet's bills after the attack in Middlesbrough, but the pet's value is more than money can buy. Named Jeeves by his wife Carolyn, who died eight months ago, the pet was bred from his son Darren's dog. Tragically, Darren, 42, died a week after Carolyn. The 67-year-old retired scaffolder said, Jeeves is all I've got left of my wife and son. Without him, I've got nothing. The dog spent two nights in the vets with serious stomach injuries, but Mr. Smith hopes he's on the road to recovery after a worrying week. Jeeves was being walked by Mr. Smith's sister Madge Sigent, 73, when it was allegedly attacked by three huskies in Coolby Newham, Middlesbrough. Mr. Smith, of Bellevue, Middlesbrough, said his sister was knocked to the floor by one dog and the other two started to bite and maul Jeeves. The third dog joined in the attack on Jeeves until a brave neighbor managed to pluck Jeeves from danger, Mr. Smith added. Cleveland police confirmed it was investigating. Describing the horror, which unfolded on June 3, Mr. Smith said, The three dogs were on leads but they're so strong they just got away. One of them knocked Madge over and pinned her to the floor, the other two started pulling Jeeves to bits. A little girl saw it and was screaming, she ran and told her mum and dad. He came out and just jumped in and picked Jeeves up. If he hadn't, I don't think Jeeves would still be here. I can't thank him enough. Mr. Smith said the dog owners left the scene and he is keen they are traced. Who knows what could have happened. Madge's shoulder and ribs have came up all black and blue and she's in a lot of pain, but I know it could have been worse. Jeeves was taken to Bridge Vets in Middlesbrough, where he underwent emergency treatment. The whole ordeal has left Dennis 2,000 pounds out of pocket, but he's not worried just about the money. I really want to find out whose dogs were responsible, and bring them to order. They're such strong dogs it's frightening to think how bad the injuries could have been. I don't want anyone else hurt, Mr. Smith said. Anyone with information should contact police on 101.